Hey yo, welcome to my YouTube channel. It's your boy Zebra. For those of you who are here for the first time, please don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Don't forget to like, share, and comment. In today's video, I'll be telling you about my Saturday. It wasn't one of the best of them, but then it was a great one. Traffic cops took the keys and took my license. I was devastated. I was scared. I was driving, my dad is behind me. As I'm driving, I see a traffic cop there. Traffic cop directing the people. Good. When I get there, the guy tells me, swerve this side. Ah, uh, me, no me. Get to, and I go. The guy comes after me, the guy comes up. My window was open. He gets there, and then he takes out the key. The key falls onto the ground, and then I step on it. White. But not racist, just white. <laughs> he gets there. He pushes me. He's take off your feet. He's coming, he's coming. I think he's gonna give up or something. Only to find that the road is blocked ahead. And then when he gets there, he snatches the key out of the ignition. The key falls onto the ground. He opens the door. I step on the key, he tries pushing me away. He tries pushing me away. Oh, I see all the crowd is looking at me. The crowd is looking at the car. I just took my feet off the key so that the officer can do his things and then I can get my punishment. You know what I'm saying? But then yeah, now let's get into the real story. Let's get into the real things about how everything started and how it ended. Let's get into the beginning of the Saturday. You know what happened? I woke up not expecting that I would be chased by traffic cops or anything like that. So I wake up, take a bath. I start my day. Sorry, I'm by the street, I'm walking. I just wanted to do this now so that I don't forget everything that happened. So I'm doing this now for you. Sorry for the inconvenience. You're going to hear some noises. But I hope they're not too much. I woke up, went to town. Went to town. From town, we're listening to music. On the way, it was fun. Young, chilled kind of vibes then. Guys, allow me to be chilled and slow because I've been retaking this a couple of times now. But then I think if I'm chilled, I'll be able to get this over and done with. I'm more of a bedtime storyteller than, a, you know, what I'm trying to do. <laughs> and I'm forced to, I'm on YouTube, I have to. So, as I was saying, we're driving around town and then we're playing some music. So a couple of BMWs that, that were rare. And for Mustangs. Oh, yeah, then along the way because on the Friday, take seats, should I say cabs? But yeah, they were fighting, they were striking, they were burning each other's cars. Hey, it was great. It was South Africa. Or should I say, this is uh, no, not Limpopo. Worst things happen in Johannesburg and other places. But then this is South Africa. Worst things happen in South Africa, you know what I'm saying? So I see this big police vans parked there by each robot so I pass I pass ah okay when I pass chill vibes play music I have, I have a license guys I'm driving freely because I have a license I can play loud music passing by a traffic cop or a policeman I don't know why was I afraid of policemen even when I didn't have a license because they are not but anyway go to read they're in charge they're above me so Sorry for that car. They're above me, so I need, I have to be scared of them. I'm doing, I get there and then I get to more of the north. I see all that, a couple of people. So I go out to go get my dad. 
and take a few pictures of him. When I'm there, when I'm going there, I don't have problems with the traffic cops along the way because at each and every corner, just like complete marathon, it's a marathon. At each and every corner, there are traffic cops that, you know, control the traffic. I pass and then I explain or I'm going to get my dad. They're cool with it. They even allow me to drive where I'm not supposed to be driving. So on my way back, I'm okay. It's okay, we are singing. I'm passing all the other traffic cops. And then when I get to the last one, the last traffic cops gives me trouble. It's like, young man, please swerve the car to the side. It is blocked there. Ah, and I'm like, nah, should I? Or should I not? And then another side of me was like, when I came out, that road was open, I hate. He tried to stop me, guys, and I went straight right in. So my father is behind me, on foot though. He's behind me on foot. When I get in there, another car. My father's behind me on foot. I drive by force. The, the guy, the traffic cops, or the guy who's helping the traffic cop, that's chasing me. And I still go because I know the road is open there, but then turns out while I was out to get my dad, they closed it. They closed it and I didn't know, so I couldn't run those things over and pass by force because now everyone is looking at me, my dad is coming in, people are singing, it's fun. And then that guy gets there, the window is open, grabs the car keys from the ignition, they fall onto the ground. I tried firing him, okay? Tried firing him, Mara. It wasn't that brutal. He, he just pushed me over about three times and then I was like, oh, okay. Now those people are starting to watch me and they are starting to look at my direction because now, Farne Kosa see those type of vibes, but then they see that much of a scene. So he comes and takes out the key. I was like, oh, okay. Then I rush out and continue with my mission. So my hand is starting to behave. I, I proceed with my mission of taking pictures of my dad. But then you could tell, guys. I mean, look at this. And look at this. You can tell Hore is no longer happy about the situation. He's not happy about the fact that I was fully past there, whereas the authorities, people above me said, don't. So you could see Ori, he wasn't excited as he was when I first got there because he didn't know I was coming, or at least he had an idea that I was coming, but then me coming really made him to be, you know, happy and that. And glad Ori, I was able to arrive. Oh, Ash, this scene changed his mood. Ah, uh, but then, they finished the race, they finished the marathon. Sorry for not looking into the camera, I'm shy. I know you are now looking straight into my eyes, so eye contact is a bit of a problem, but we will work on that. So I get in and then after the race, my car is telling everyone, Zebra, oh, Ali, now who no fit? I'm a traffic, I'm much of a I'm starting to feel bad, the situation, oh, it's worse. I don't know what to do. Ah, but then my dad goes there and talks to the traffic cop who took the car keys. And then he's like, I don't know what was he like. He just told me, Ore, stay by the car, I'm coming back. And then he went there. They talked and then my dad came back. He was like, go there and apologize and tell them you are sorry. So I went there. I'm sorry, what I did was wrong. It won't happen again. Sorry for disrespecting you as high authorities. I swear it was for the last time. And then the lady was like, do you have a license? I was like, yeah. But then when I got out of, <laughs> when I left home, I didn't even confirm if I have my license, license or not. So I just rushed out. I rushed out and then, now I'm telling the lady, the traffic cop, I have a license. And then she's like, go get it. I quickly rushed to the car. The car is there in the middle. It's waiting for a tow truck. That's what the lady told me. It's waiting for a tow truck. 
Because now I'm not obedient, so they have to throw the car away. It's waiting for the tow truck. Give the lady my license. Here's my license. Here's the key in the pocket. She's like, uh, what you did was wrong, young man. And we are going to prove to all these people that when people mess with the authorities, we are going to pay for messing with the authorities. We are going to tow your car as an example to show that we mean business. We were sent here to control, but now you go above our controls and try to put in your own rules and control yourselves. Because we were two. It was me and the camera guy from the bank. So together we <laughs> Yeah, we didn't follow the rules. And then finally there's the white guy. I apologized and he was like, no, oh, it's okay, you're a young man, you make mistakes. I was like, yeah, I'm a young man, I make mistakes, you know. But yeah, that was, that was a real genuine mistake and uh, it will never happen again. So yeah, they gave me the car keys and they were like, don't ever do that again. It was, it was wrong of you to do that. So I was like, oh, okay, all right. It won't happen again. Then things were cool. I'm gonna head home and find out what my dad has to say about the whole situation when it's just the two of us. Guys, don't forget to share, like, subscribe, and comment where possible. I love you and please do respect the world. Hey yo, welcome to my YouTube channel. It's your boy Zebra, and behind me I have. Yeah, there's two bastards. What did I say about cursing? <laughs> oh. Curse, but don't curse a lot. What? No, I said don't curse at all. <laughs> anyway. So, like I said, we were seeing. I ate stuff. Is that the correct thing to say? Yeah, the BMW. <laughs> 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 Couple of BMWs that, that were rare. Rare! No way! That were rare. That were rare. Anyway, that were rare. <laughs> BMWs that were rare. And. <laughs> 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 Oh! <laughs>